Thank you for joining us today to celebrate a very exciting milestone for LUMED, the official launch of the LUMED Ambassador Program. My name is Nadera Katibo, and I'm the Executive Director of LUMED. LUMED was formed in January of this year after two years of collaboration between four anchor partners, Jefferson Community and Technical College, Norton Healthcare, UofL Health Sciences Center, and the University of Louisville Health. LUMED was created to promote the members' collective goals to cultivate a cohesive medical campus by improving walkability, adding more green space in and around the campus, improving traffic flow, and creating a safe and welcoming environment for all who visit, work, and are educated here in our district. Based on feedback from a survey that we conducted last year, we learned that, not surprising, safety is the biggest concern. The LUMED Ambassador Program was launched in response to that feedback. In addition to the $300 million that our partners have collectively invested or will be investing in their own campuses, the LUMED partners decided that we needed to address safety right away, even before announcing an executive director. So the $1 million yearly investment in partnership with Block by Block began in March, and they're here to provide safety, cleaning, wayfinding, hospitality services to our district. The LUMED ambassadors play an important role in improving the experience of all who work here, who come here to, be, to seek metal, medical treatment and to be educated. And their ser service is already proven to be invaluable to LUMED, so we're thankful that you're here. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Jonathan Sandman and James Wells, from Block by Block, who are the leaders of the LUMED Ambassador Program. Would either of you like to say a few words? Sure. Well, thank you, Naderica. Uh, on behalf of all of us at Block by Block, we'd like to express our thanks and gratitude, <clears throat> uh, our, our thanks for the opportunity to partner uh, with LUMED and to be chosen to serve as the on-street presence and face for the organization. Uh, block by Block began here in downtown Louisville nearly 30 years ago. It can trace its roots even further back, as far back as the 1930s. And so the opportunity to partner with yet another Louisville neighborhood comes with an extra bit of excitement and joy. So again, thank you for the opportunity, and we look forward to being part of the transformation. Awesome. Thank you. Almost two years ago, to this day, um, I got a call from someone I work with on a previous project to ask for support in doing this thing that was unnamed at the time, creating this medical and education district. So much work has been done since then. In January of this year, LUMED became an official 501c4 organization, and we are well on our way to transform this district into something remarkable. Now I'd like to introduce you to that person who made that phone call and planted the seed for LUMED. He put this team together and helped us get on our way on this wonderful initiative, Mr. Riggs Lewis. Riggs is our... <laughs> he's our LUMED board chair and he's also the system VP of health policy at Norton Healthcare. Well, good morning. Good morning to everyone in Naderica. Uh, on behalf of the board of LUMED, uh, your selection was unanimous. It was overwhelming. Uh, if you don't know Naderica, the folks at U of L know her. She started her career at the University of Louisville. She moved to California to build a system out there. We brought her back to Norton, and she's been with us for 23 years uh, with an MBA, a degree in project management and uh, facilities development with, a, uh, with the degree and the skill set that is going to absolutely transform this. So ladies and gentlemen, the new leader of LUMED, Naderica Tebow. I'll, I'll be brief, but I want to tell you something two years ago that happened. We brought this forward as a concept before we filed the legal work. The board of directors traveled to GLI's trip uh, called GLIDE, their economic development trip in Indianapolis. And they gave us a time to present on stage. And we talked about the concept of LUMED and what it could be. We shared our data, data we'd never shared before. We were not sharing people. We're competitors. But we realized we're stronger together. So when we shared that information, uh, 
we got up on stage and we said, this is what it could be. And what it is today is what it could have been. One person stood up, literally raised their hand and stood up and said, I'm all in. How can I help you? And that person was a hotel developer across the country based in Louisville, Kentucky. And today we call that person Mayor Craig Greenberg. And Craig Greenberg stood up and said, what can I do to help you? He was not yet a candidate. He was running a hotel chain. And we said, let us get back to you. And we got back to him recently. And we are so grateful, Mayor, that you put three point one five million dollars into the initial investment that we brought to you with engineering design plans to rebuild Blue Med. And you'll see that today in the in the conversation, but we owe you a great deal, ladies and gentlemen, Craig Greenberg. Thank you so much, Riggs. Thank you so much, Naderica, and to everyone that is part of Blue Med. This is a very exciting day for our entire city, certainly for downtown. Louisville, but really for our entire city and state, because this is a great step forward for LUMED and our city. This space right here that we're in the heart of is such a tremendous opportunity for our city. We already know the great health care that is being provided by so many institutions on, in the blocks surrounding us. Four incredibly important and dynamic institutions to our city, to our state, to our country who are now, as Riggs in, in, in talked about, are working together. They're sharing space, they're sharing people, and sharing ideas in partnership. This is what progress is all about. Jefferson Community and Technical College, UofL Healthcare, UofL Health Sciences Center, and Norton Healthcare, all working closely together on LUMED. When I first heard about this vision, as Riggs said, in Indianapolis on the glide trip, I, it was amazing. It was just an easy sell. And I think that is what is going to get the entire community so excited about it, because we know the potential is there. We know the great work that all, all four of these institutions are already doing. And so to build upon that, to create an even more vibrant, more uh, innovative, uh, larger healthcare, medical and education and innovation campus right here in the heart of downtown Louisville is something so exciting. We even just had great news. This is just the second announcement of the week that's great for LUMED. Earlier this week, the Red Cross, another amazing institution right here in the LUMED district, announced the $15 million expansion of their project that the governor and I, governor and I attended. That announced that groundbreaking. So that's just even on top of what the LUMED partners are doing. And this partnership with Block by Block will enhance the experience immediately for what's going on here and help attract even more people to the LUMED district as some of these other plans begin to take shape. At city government, we recognize and value the potential that LUMED has. It's already an amazing district with great partners and it's, it's just getting started. And so that's why, as Riggs mentioned, our proposed budget to the Metro Council invest money in making this LUMED district a reality, in starting some of the planning, in taking the building down immediately across the street to have a wonderful park at the center of the LUMED campus, because that's truly what this is going to be. We all need to be thinking about what this can be as a campus. And so today's announcement with Block by Block, which is an, an amazing Louisville-based company, is a great first step. Before some of that work is done, the Block by Block partners will be working in this neighborhood to ensure that people are safe, to ensure that people know where they're going, to help keep the streets clean. Just as they're doing block by block is already a partner of the city, working in our downtown neighborhood and our new Lou neighborhood and others. Their colleagues are well trained in safety and hospitality and help visitors, residents and workers feel safe, welcome and informed about what's happening in the neighborhood that they're working. We are going to continue to invest in more block by block partnerships, not just in, new, in LUMED, but in other parts of our downtown as well, to ensure that all of that is happening everywhere. We will continue to make even more strategic investments to revitalize downtown and make it more attractive to residents, visitors, and businesses. And that's critical because downtown is the heart of our city. The economic hap activity that happens in downtown Louisville benefits everyone in Louisville, everyone in Kentucky. People in every part of our city work downtown every day. 
They come to concerts and festivals and basketball games every day in downtown. Some may go to school downtown. Some may visit a doctor here in the Lumed district. Some, like I did last night, might go to a show at the Kentucky Center for the Arts, enjoy our bourbon experiences, ball games, and more. Downtown is for everyone. And so we will continue to invest in downtown Louisville to ensure that the best experiences possible are right here in a vibrant, authentic, unique, safe, clean, and green neighborhood that we all call downtown Louisville. So we will continue to invest and to continue to bring more great jobs and careers and importantly, thousands of new residents so that people call, even more people, call downtown Louisville home. Whether they're working at Lumed, whether they're working at another business downtown, or whether they're working elsewhere in our city, we want people to live here. And so again, let me just thank the leaders, the instructors, staff, students, everyone involved from each of these institutions for the energy that they're bringing every day for their own organization and together in partnership to make this LUMED campus a reality. Thank you so much to Norton, to Jefferson, to U of L, to U of L Health for everything they do. And together, we'll continue building on the great things that are already happening here to make Nulu, sorry, make Nulu also, but make Nulu, I'll add that, make Nulu, Nulu, LUMED, downtown, every surrounding neighborhood, and all of our city a safer city a stronger city, and a healthier city. Thank you all so much, and I'm so excited for the future of the Lou Med campus. Thank you so much, Mayor. You have been an advocate for Lou Med from the very beginning. You, your doors have been open, and um, you, we, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, our next speaker, I believe, is Mr. Ken Marshall. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks to Derricka. Mayor, thank you so much for your support. It, uh, we couldn't have come this far um, without it. And I just want to make sure you know before we leave, we've just started. <laughs> um, uh, you know, they say that some of the best ideas are the most obvious ideas. And isn't this one of them? Um, four institutions that all share a space and all share a mission um, have spent a lot of time working in different silos, and finally, with the help of Riggs and others, came to the realization that, you know what? We're really better together than we are separate. Um, so um, I think I, I look at these things that we have put together, the plans that we have that are immediate, that we've already done, and are so, I'm so excited about the future of this medical center, and I'm more excited about the experience that our patients need and deserve, that our staff need and deserve, that our faculty need and deserve, and we're gonna create the environment that welcomes them, encourages them, makes them heal, and makes not only our greater community better, but LUMED better, so thank you. I need to apologize. I did not introduce Ken properly. He is uh, the CEO of U of L Health, but he is also our vice chair of LUMED. So, uh, thank you for that, Ken. Um, next, we have uh, Dr. Handy. Is he? Dr. Handy um, is with JCTC. When we got the call to be uh, asked to be one of the, I guess you'll call us anchor tenants of, uh, of, uh, of LUMED, we didn't hesitate to say, this is what we need to do. We know that our success is totally bound by the success of the neighborhood uh, where we live. We have about 6,000 students who call uh, the JCTC downtown campus home. And of those 6,000, 2,400 of them are either majoring in nursing or allied health, or they're doing the coursework to get ready to major in nursing and allied health. That means that every day, 
um, as early as 6 a.m. in the morning, students are parking on the other side of I-65 in our parking lot, and they're walking over to do clinicals at U of L Health at at, uh, at Norton's, uh, and they're and they're making that trek as early as 6 a.m. and they're coming back as late as 9 p.m. Um, and uh, these students are not escorted; they're just having to do what they have to do to be able to earn their degree or credential and and really contribute to this community. And so the chance to step in with an ambassador ambassador program like this that links us together, um, that, that values everybody in the neighborhood, not just the hospitals, everybody, uh, is, critical, is critically important. And uh, we're pleased to be a part of this, and we're willing to make investments. All four partners are standing up, prepared to make significant financial investments in the ongoing operations of this district, but also in turning our facilities into a, sort of an integrated whole in the neighborhood. So I'm also gonna say that at Jefferson over the next five years, we've committed to spend about $90 million improving our campus facility and our campus grounds. It'll be the largest single investment by any community college in the history of the community college system across the state. And, And what I'm really pleased about is that pales in comparison to some of the other plans that are out there for our district. Uh, so we're excited about being a part of this. Uh, every day I go out and walk and I'd say at least 50% of the time I'm greeted as I'm walking around the campus by one of the ambassadors. And I'm enjoying that very much because I know they're out there, they're visible, they're helping folks. And this is gonna make a, an early difference in the feel, the climate, and just sort of the, the oneness of this community. So thank you for inviting Jefferson to be a part of it. All right, thank you, Dr. Handy. Um, last but not least is Dr. Dean Ganzel uh, from U of L. Well, thank you. I'm Tony Gansel. It's my pleasure to be Dean of the School of Medicine and Vice President for Academic Affairs. I, too, am absolutely thrilled about being part of this partnership. Each of the four organizations think we're pretty special on our own, and I think we are. But we also realize that we have shared goals and a shared campus and shared work and learning environments. And those of you who know me know my favorite kind of diagram is a Venn diagram. And so we're a bit of a Venn diagram. And, and as we come together, that sweet spot of the Venn, um, a, a, a stronger Louisville, a safer Louisville, a healthier Louisville, that's what we're about. And, and we're excited to work together. We have this really love of, uh, of place, pride of place. And by the way, do you know that you are in the central core of the old Louisville General Hospital now. And around the, um, around the room are all of the old deans of this, the School of Medicine. And so we, are, we look behind, but we also look forward. And as I look out, my, my office is right there, and as I look out that um, uh, uh, window and see the potential future park that we're gonna build, and we'd love to engage our Enviro Institute, because we know that the environment plays such an important part in, in better health. Um, so we're excited about this possibility. We're excited about the partnership. And as you say, we, we, we really are just getting started. And Mayor Greenberg, thank you so much for being such a strong supporter of this. Thank you all for coming today. And um, I have to say, go Cards. So as you can tell, we are all super excited about what we've already accomplished with the partnership with Block by Block, but we're also very excited about what's to come. Um, we look forward to one day having everyone back, maybe across the street in a cleaned out area that will be the future home of LUMED um, and LUMED Gardens. Hopefully a nice, pretty office and statues, uh, amphitheater, am I going to doing too much with the budget? Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we've got ideas, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing those uh, to fruition. So thank you all again for attending today. Um, we really appreciate your support, and um, stay tuned. We're just getting started. Thank you. Thank you.